Hello, everybody. I'm going to plug my phone in. Hang on. One moment, please. We went out and about. Um, I ran out of the stain for the fence, which is move to be here. We got another gallon of bare house and fence wood stain in the color is drift gray, blah, blah, blah. So I got more painting to do. Um, we got the two sections of fence up and now Scott's going to build a gate and then we'll have the gate, the fence all fixed with the gate. And I've been letting Bernadette kind of run loose because we had the upper gate closed she didn't bother the, the cat with the kittens under her house at all. So right now she's looking for me. She's loose in here. But anyway, we went to Goodwill. Got several of them. So let me pull the stuff out of here. I got some, oh, I don't know, seven and a half by ten and a half. Um manila envelopes and i'm just going to get rid of the box because i don't need that um the envelopes were 3.99 we'll put this in the recycle bin and tippy's going to be a nuisance and then at that same one scott picked up some music tony bennett and tchaikovsky Hi, Sophia. Hi, Janet. So we spent like $11 there. And I think that's what all we got. No, there was something else. Oh, I know. Oh, I see the wires broke. But anyway, Scott said if I didn't use it, he would use this material. This is a... Um, Handcrafted by Maple Leaf Soap. It's a soap cutter. Um, but the, the cutting blade is down, down right now, so I'm not going to bother it. It looks like they used a guitar string for a cutting wire. And that was $4.99. So I told Scott, I said, you know, if I don't get around to making soap anytime soon, just use it. And then he got this box here. At a different um, Goodwill. It was $6.99. But inside it, it has where they had gotten their wine bottles cut off and made into glasses. And that's not what he wanted. But it's got their business cards. It's got some burlap in it. And some bits of wood. And there's the other glass. So there's three glasses with all this different material in between trying to protect the, the cups. And we might want to take this right back outside because it looks like it's had a mouse nest in it. So I'm going to take Scott's box and I'm going to give it right back to him so he can put it in the garage. And I'm not going to use that burlap. Sorry guys, I just wanted to take that right back out of the house. <laughs> I'll put, I'll wash the glasses, either that or we'll re-donate them. I might just throw them in the dishwasher and see how they do. Or I might just use them for something else. Sorry I ran out so quickly, but I saw the, the rat debris and I really didn't want that in the house. Um... Sustainable, recycled, handmade at cellar to ceiling. We specialize in custom glassware and lighting 
All of our products are handmade in Columbia, South Carolina from locally sourced recycled glass bottles. Cheers. So that's what that is. All right. And I opened the envelopes. We're going to get rid of the box. And where's my bin bag? That's from the bin. All right. I'm just going to grab a bag. All right. Now, you guys know I made that stuffed rabbit. He's about almost 30 inches tall. And Scott said he would make him his very own toolbox. He doesn't have to now. Look, it's little Scott's tool. So I can put some tools in here for little Scott. <coughs> We're really going way out of the way with the whole rabbit thing. Well, then I picked up yarn and I thought some of it. See, she charged me $2.99 for this skein. And I told her, I said, I don't think they're all $2.99. So she charged me $2.99 for all of them. But anyway, so I got this one. And I thought these two were 50 cents, but they were marked $2.99. It's the old Wintuck, um, Wintuck baby yarn that's really, really fine. These uh, make really good Barbie sweaters. I spent way too much on this yarn. But anyway, this yarn looked really cool. Again, $2.99. All of the yarn was $2.99. And then this looked awesome. It's a different thicknesses and everything. But if I do one of those mixed afghans, this is excellent for that kind of thing. Uh-oh. And then this skein that didn't have a label. It's just navy blue. So, yeah, it was a little put out that I got charged what I did for that. But I told her, I said, I'll still put it to good use. And it, you know, won't get thrown in the trash. And then we'll grab another bag. All right. This one, the only thing I had found was this wooden plaque. And it's been there for a long time because I've looked at it before. And I told Scott, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a square of cardboard and stick this temporarily to the cardboard in the center of it so that I can draw lines and I want to do a mandala on this. So that's my plan for that. And then at the checkout, this just caught my eye. I don't go anywhere that's fancy dress very often, but I couldn't resist it. Um, this was 25% off. So I got 50 cents off from it. And then I got this for $5.75. You ready? Look at it. He's so sparkly. And if I go somewhere fancy dress, which probably will never happen. Oh, there's a little pocket inside. So hard to show. There we go. Pocket inside. And it was made by Charming Charlie. RSVP. And it just looks so pretty. So it's a little clutch. And I'll put it in my bags for in case I need a fancy dress something. So that's what that is. Um, I'm really tired, you guys. Let's see. Next bag is, oh, Walgreens. Walgreens Zyrtec medicine, because we were out, and a Kinder Bueno. Um, love this stuff. So we ate one pack, and we have one pack left. So I'm going to, looking for receipts. Scott tells everybody we're old and we balance our checkbook. Um, and then the bins, the stuff from the bins. I've got some books. Miss 
Perry Grant's Home for Peculiar Children. And I know there's a movie out about this. And I was thinking I would just read this. And then maybe if we find the movie, we'll watch the movie later. So I got that to read. And then this is snowflakes made out of plastic canvas. And I thought they're really pretty. And I can do these for next next Christmas. They could be something fun to do. They'd be a small project that I can work on like Christmas in July. And then I don't know if I have this book or not. 101 Rotary Cut Quilts. If I do already have it, I may give this away. Because I had to rescue it from the bins. And they're now charging at the bins 75 cents for books. So we learned that today. Sorry, I'm not as perky. I could get in that recliner over there and be out like that. And then I saved this home deck fabric which is really pretty it's pretty wide and looked like about two yards and it i could use it to make tote bags or pillows or recover a chair or whatever so i just saved it from the bins the last stage before it goes to the dump and another skein of yarn which I paid by the pound and it was marked 99 cents but I paid by the pound so there's another skein of yarn and then you get a free trash bag and that's it that was our thrifty haul I'm looking around to make sure I'm not fitting. Um, yeah. Hi, Mary King. Hobbies and more. So, yeah. But this was like, oh, I just couldn't leave it. And then when she told me it was $5.75, then I could have swore she said that it was on sale. But that's okay. It's worth $5.75, I think. It's just really pretty. I deserve something pretty sometimes, too. Bernie, what are you doing? Yeah, you're being naughty. Come here. No. So, anyway, I'm going to wash the glasses. I'm going to tell Scott why I shot his box back out on top of the car. And um, I'm not going to reuse anything else in it because it's got rat poo in it. All right. So I guess I'll let you go. I know Beth is planning to be on 8 to 11 tonight. And I'm going to go see if Scott wants to do anything else on the fence today or if we're just going to call it and start again tomorrow. Um, our power went off about 6.15 yesterday because three houses down, one of their ancient old oak trees came down and took the line out. And when I reported the outage, they said, you will have electricity by 1030. No, we got a less electricity back at about 215 a.m. So, yeah. But um, I feel bad for the folks that the tree came down and then the house next door, she had to have um, her whole connection redone. It just tore it off her house. So, yeah, they've been working at it. And I don't think she had power yet because they had to get that fixed before they could reconnect her. But we got it in the middle of the night. And um, about the time I was giving up at Mary's because my phone was, I mean, so close to dying, I um, heard the chainsaw start. So I knew they were working on it when I finally went to bed at about 1030. It was pitch black in here. You couldn't see anything without our handy dandy flashlights. And so... Oh, thanks for the thumbs up. So, yeah, I was listening to them with the chainsaw, and um, I knew it wouldn't be too long. Come here. And then when I got up this morning, 
I saw Mary went on for seven hours last night. I, we've been gone. And this one just wants reassurance that, you know, I'm not going to do that again right away. He's a baby. And mind you, while we were gone, the dog was in her crate and their food was down where they could eat it. And now he's saying he's starving because I picked the cat food up so the dog wouldn't eat it. And I'm hearing all kinds of hisses. Cole's hissing. Cole hisses. Cole is my grand cat and he usually stays in the bonus room. But because Greg is vacuuming out there because he's going to have company later. Um, <sighs> Cole's in here trying to start a fight with everybody. Howard, don't even listen to him. Just just ignore him. Just come here. Just don't even go near him. So anyway, I'm going to go fuss it and love on the ones that need loving and fuss at the other one. And I will talk to you guys later. And I'm sorry I'm too sleepy to hang on much longer. See you in the next one. Bye.